Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to take a look at some keyboard and keycap group buys, but before we do, as per usual at the beginning of every video, I like to shout out our Discord if you're into this type of content. I do post more info on group buys, interest checks, and everything keyboards on our Discord. Link is in the description below, but let's get right to the video. First up here, we have GMK Amethyst. I am a fan of the set, but I do feel like there are more sets with similar colorways to this coming out. So if you are looking for something with purple hues and whites, uh, you might want to, you know, search your options. Just off the top of my head, I could think of a GMK 2Z and GMK T-Witch. So yeah, explore your options. Not taking away from the GMK Amethyst at all. I do think this is an amazing looking set. I am a fan more so of the light set rather than the dark base set. I do think the dark base set is just a little too monotone in my opinion, a little boring, and the fact that it's a little more expensive is also not as appealing. Even though it's $5, I feel like you're paying more for less, so just not me. I do enjoy just the light base set. I really think it also adds to the purple and makes it pop a little bit more. Here are your novelties. You have gemstone inspired novelties, so you have your little gemstones there and your crystals, your extensions your space bars, and then your amethyst inspired desk map. Taking a look at some of the renderings here, again, I'm a bigger fan of the light set. I really think that it helps the purples pop out a little bit more. Here you can see back to back the uh, dark set and the light set. Again, it's all personal preference. If you are a fan of the dark set, or even if you have a desk setup that may complement it a little bit more, then heck, it might look better than the light set depending on the conditions. But here, just me personally up front, I do think that the light ba uh, base kit with a white case looks really good. This set is running until December 13th and has a production time of 36 weeks. So you can roughly estimate it to ship out probably third quarter 2021. But there you have it. That is the GMK Amethyst. Let's take a look at what else we got today. Next up here, we have the EU Isolation Group Buy on the P3D store. Right off the bat, you can tell it's not your normal keyboard. It has room for four ISO enter keys right there on the left side of the keyboard, as well as it has a handle. Your EU isolation kit comes with three main components. You have your acrylic, and then you have your hardware, which comes in four different options, gold, black, off-white, and silver. And finally, you have your PCB. The PCB, unfortunately, only comes in a soldered version, though. This group buy runs until December 2nd, is an unlimited group buy, so you can buy multiple if you do choose to do so. It starts at $140, and when I say it starts at $140, it's because usually with the P3D store, you can customize what color you want for the case. So for example, if you want a clear or a frosted, the price may differ. I think the most expensive uh, color option is going to be the full radiant layers, which is kind of like a rainbow color. It's going to be $75 on top of that $140 base kit. But pretty much all the other options are usually about $5 to $10, whether you want like a blue glass or a burnt orange solid color. It really depends. So expect that to be between $140 to like probably $150, depending on what option you choose. Unless again, you do choose either the full radiant color or the uh, radiant and the clear color, which is kind of like an in-between uh, in terms of price. You get two layers of the radiant and then the rest is clear. So it's not completely uh, radiant, but you still get that effect on the bottom and the top layers. One thing I am a big fan of on this website is since everything is made in-house, the images aren't, uh, they aren't renderings. They're actually product images. So you get a really good crisp idea of how these are going to look when they get to you. And I really appreciate that. I think it looks nice when you actually get to see full product images rather than just renderings. But that's all we have time for with the EU isolation. Let's go ahead and take a look at what else we got today. Next up here, we have the JTK Azure. JTK is sometimes seen as like a budget version of GMK, but don't let that get to you. I do think JTK is still a solid keycap option and the quality on it is actually still really good. This Azure set kind of reminds me of the GMK Triumph set. I've mentioned it in another video, I'm pretty sure, and I had it in person. The GMK Triumph had these similar color schemes with this like teal blue, but it didn't have these like burnt orange slash reds in there, which I really think adds to the kit. I'm not as much of a fan of this colorway. I feel like I've seen so many keycap sets with similar colorways to this, like the uh, Space Cadet kind of had a similar color. Again, the GMK Triumph, and I swear I've seen a few more. So personally, I'm not a huge fan of it. Once you see something a lot, it feels less special, if that makes sense. But I know some of you out there may like this type of kit, so I wanted to put it out there. Let's go ahead and look at the kit options. Of course, right here you have the base kit. Here is your Russian kit option. Here are your novelties, which are little robots. I think this is kind of cool. I think the illustrations here are nice. They're simple, but they do pop. And then you have three different uh, space bar kits, which depends on uh, what accents you want. You have your white, your like burnt orange slash red, and then you have your blue teal there. 
two different desk mats. I like this first one. I think it's clean, simple, but the design is nice. This next one's a little too loud for me, but it's pretty cool as well. Nice little illustration of some astronauts as well as the robots playing in space. Here is your rendering for the keyboard. I do like this full keyboard with the uh, left side numpad. Then it has a rotary knob on top. You don't see this too often. The rendering is really nice there. And then we have your 60% kit with the Russian alphas, which is a nice touch. I like that they show you those as well. You also have a collaboration with Rama here, which is like a little robot heart, which let's see how much that costs. It's probably like 50 bucks, $45. So not bad, pretty average price for a Rama cap. So there you have the JTK Azure set. This is running until November 30th, and then it has a 28 week production time. So probably, you know, second quarter 2021 around there late second quarter, mid second quarter, I would say. But yeah, the JTK Azure, hope you guys like that one. Let's take a look at the last group buy we have for today. Lastly here today, we have the Max Key Berserk. If I ever have the chance to make an Evangelion thumbnail for a video, I'm gonna do it. I have no shame. I don't care if I did Asuka last week or Shinji right before that. I'm gonna do a unit two for this video because this kit is so sick and I've been wanting it for a while. I never thought I was gonna be able to get it. I couldn't find it on Mech Market and I couldn't find it on eBay and I was kind of just gave up until I saw the pre-orders on the Kono store. I was really hyped when I saw that. This keycap set is going to put you back $170, but there is a reason for that. You get the base kit, the numpad, novelties, 40s, non-standards, space bars, and more. So it's pretty much an all-in-one complete kit. Um, it is also a pre-order, which is a major upside. You don't have to wait six months for it to come in. It says it's going to ship uh, January, December. So within, you know, one to two months, you should get it uh, shipped out, which is crazy. You don't usually have to wait a good amount of time, but it is a pre-order. So they either have it in stock or are waiting for it to get to their fulfillment centers, essentially. Let's go ahead and look at some of the renderings. I'm a little confused as to why they didn't render it with a red case. Uh, it would have made more sense if they're going for that unit two look. They did do a white case here, which looks nice, but again, I don't know why they did the like dark gray and this like silver. It just would have made sense if they color matched a case with the same color as the keycaps. Nonetheless, the renderings do look amazing and I'm super hyped to get this in. I don't know how many they have in stock, so I'm thinking about getting a second one. Um, not sure, but there you have it, the Max Key Berserk for all you EVA fans out there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel and joining our Discord. I'll always do more updates on group buys and interest checks, everything keyboards. I do have some other videos coming out soon. Stay tuned for that. Take it easy, guys, and peace out.